Hey guys, Delta Kanaki in here, and I got some Call of Duty 4 for you. Not the greatest gameplay like the last one, but I believe I spent a large part of this match on a 2 bar, and, well, as I've said before, I'm not that good at Call of Duty 4, anyways. Um, anyways, as I'm sure many of you have figured out because you look at my channel page or follow me on Twitter, I got an Xbox, and that happened a number of days ago. Uh, Actually, probably like a week and a half now. But, uh, finally got around to doing a video about it because, um, I had other things to post. And because I kind of wanted to do a comparison type thing between the PS3 and the 360. And, and before we start, let me just say, I'm not trying to start, like, you know, a fanboy console war here. Uh, I'm not going to say I prefer one over the other because I really don't. Um, and... I tried to rage quit there and failed. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't really prefer either. There's just, you know, each console has its advantages and disadvantages, and those are kind of the, you know, I'm going to cover those as I talk here today. Um, anyways, let's start off with the, uh, the controller. Um, definitely, definitely think the actual shape of the Xbox 360 controller is better, and its concave triggers, like the style of the triggers, um, is much better, um, you know, prevents your fingers from slipping off, and the, the actual controller itself just fits better in the hands. Um, you know, I used to think it was the other way around, because I'd only played 360 occasionally, it was kind of awkward, but after, you know, playing Xbox for a bit and getting used to it, going back to the PlayStation 3 controller, it does feel a lot smaller. Um, but that's a controller I've been, you know, playing games with since I was four years old, so I'm, you know, I'm used to it completely. Um, the one complaint I would have about the controller is obviously the batteries. Um, the fact that you either have to get rechargeable or, like, swapping double A's out. I don't know why they want you to do a built-in controller, a built-in battery, sorry, and, you know, charge it through USB similar to the DualShock. That's just... You know, that this just makes things easier. Um, next thing is actually the size of the bumpers and triggers. Uh, more so the bumpers, but they're just really thin. Right? I'm, I'm kind of getting used to the triggers, but the bumpers on the 360 controller are, like, non-existent half the time. You, I run my fingers over them and don't even realize they're there. Whereas the uh, on the DualShock, it's, um, the, the buttons are bigger, it's easier to hit them. And it's just a better design. Honestly, if I could... I do. I I combine the controllers and make the the triggers and bumpers the size of the PlayStation ones. Keep the triggers concave and basically everything else 360 style. And it would be like the perfect gaming controller. Um. Yeah. Next. Uh. I guess we'll talk about Xbox Live PlayStation Network since that's <laughs> what everyone's really gonna want to know. Um, and yes, Xbox Live is definitely a better service than the PlayStation Network. But the things you have to look at, uh, Xbox Live has been around for uh, a number of years more, and it's also a paid service. So, um, to be honest, if you want to really compare the two, uh, PlayStation Network is only about six years old, I think. Compare uh, PlayStation Network now to what Xbox Live was when it had been around for six years. Then you'll get a more accurate comparison of the two. Um, but yeah, if, if you're just going to compare them to what they are today, Xbox Live is definitely the better service. But, um, you know, it is paid. Not not that much. $5 a month. Um, you know, sounds a hell of a lot better than 60 a year. But, um, that, yeah, that'll be, uh, that's really about it. I haven't had too much experience with online. I haven't bought a game for it yet. Um, I just have, like, some free games. I've played Halo online, Halo 3. Um... Like, no lag, but I have had some issues with the Xbox Live parties. Um, the party system itself is great. Uh, it's just that it's kind of, like, dropped and, like, ended the party and then reassembled it with only, like, half the people there a few times. I don't know what the hell's going on when that happens, but, you know, it happens. Uh, the next thing I kind of have to point out is that with the PlayStation 3, you're getting... A stronger overall entertainment system. They do call it the PlayStation 3 Entertainment System for a reason, um, and I feel that 360 is definitely more tuned to the gamer, specifically the hardcore gamer. Um, so you know, PS3, it's got the free online service, uh, Blu-ray, um, and then the 
you know, just a wider variety of things that you can do with it, in my opinion. Um, and the Xbox is just, you know, it does, it does have many of the same features. It just puts more focus on the games, I feel. Which is, you know, good. It's good and bad, of course. You know, obviously as a hardcore gamer, it's something that's good for me. But, um, you know, for people that are looking for something that's going to give them the most... Um, you know, the, the PlayStation's going to give you the most for the least amount of money. Um, in my opinion, just with the fees for Xbox Live and stuff like that. Um, and then, of course, you have the, the issues with the Red Ring of Death. I know it's not as much of an issue anymore. Um, but still, the failure rate is not as high on the PS3, which is another thing going in its advantage. And then finally, just the games list, specifically the exclusives. PlayStation's lineup is just stronger. You've got Uncharted, you've got Warhawk slash Starhawk, you've got Twisted Metal, you've got Resistance, and Resistance 3 is pretty good, I'll say that much. Uh, you got Motorstorm, Mag, Killzone, Infamous, the list goes on, and they've got exclusive deals. Um, you know, people talk about how Activision's kind of in bed with Microsoft with Call of Duty. Well, I guess to counter that, EA is kind of in bed with Sony, and we've got a lot of exclusive kind of add-ons on the PS3. Um, but yeah, that basically does it. Uh, you know, I don't really have a, a real preference over the two. If you were, if it came down to just choosing between the two, uh, if you're a hardcore gamer, I'd probably say lean more to the 360. But really, just which, whichever your friends play on. Right, whichever the majority of your friends are playing on, I'd say that's the console to go with because you know both have their advantages and disadvantages. None is really superior to the other. And um, before all the PC guys come and raid the comments, yes, you have better graphics. We get it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's it for me. My gamer tag is Delta Kanakian, capital D for Delta, capital C on Kanakian, no spaces or any of that. You can have me have on Xbox. I'm still not accepting friend requests on PS3 though. But um, yeah, that does it. Anyways. I'll see you next time.